She was a rising star in the 80s, but her life took a dark turn in the decades that follow. Amanda Peterson, best known for her iconic role in the romantic comedy Can't Buy Me Love, died at age 43 in a tragic accident that shocked fans and loved ones. Facts First presents Amanda Peterson's cause of death at 43 was a tragic accident. Phyllis Amanda Peterson was born in 1971 in Greeley, Colorado, the youngest of three children of James Peterson, an ear, nose, and throat doctor, and his wife Sylvia. She had a sister, Anne Marie, and a brother, James Jr. Peterson began acting as a child and adopted the shortened form of her name, Amanda Peterson, in a professional capacity. She made her stage debut at age seven as Gretel in The Sound of Music and landed a small role in the musical film Annie as a dancing extra at age 11. She soon became a rising star in the 80s, landing numerous guest spots on popular TV shows like Father Murphy and Silver Spoons. She also appeared in more than 50 TV commercials. In 1985, she starred alongside River Phoenix and Ethan Hawke in the fantasy film Explorers. The following year, she won a Young Artist Award for her role in the critically acclaimed miniseries A Year in the Life. But Peterson was also hiding a dark secret. In 2015, her family revealed she had become victim of sexual assault at age 15 by a man twice her age and had not disclosed it at the time. The trauma affected her deeply and led her to seek solace in drugs and alcohol. She also struggled with an eating disorder and body image issues. Peterson's breakthrough role came in 1987 when she played Cindy Mancini, the popular girl who falls for the nerdy boy, played by Patrick Dempsey, in the teen comedy Can't Buy Me Love. The film was a huge hit and made Peterson and Dempsey teen idols. They appeared on the covers of magazines like Tiger Beat and Teen Beat and were adored by millions of fans. But fame came with a price. Peterson felt pressured to maintain her image and cope with the demands of Hollywood. Not surprisingly, she started to rebel against her parents and managers and experiment with more drugs. She also had trouble finding roles that matched her talent and potential. She began to feel typecast and wanted to pursue more serious and challenging projects. From bad to worse, after Can't Buy Me Love, her career started to decline. She co-starred in a low-budget, post-apocalyptic film, The Lawless Land, produced by Roger Corman, and a college drama, Listen to Me, opposite Roy Scheider, but neither film made much of an impact. She also reprised her role as Sonny Sisk in the TV series version of A Year in the Life, but the show was canceled after a season. She became disillusioned with Hollywood and returned to her hometown of Greeley, where she graduated from high school. She enrolled in Middlebury College in Vermont and studied anthropology. She also attended University of Northern Colorado and Colorado State University. Despite leaving Hollywood behind, her personal problems haunted her. She developed a drug addiction that led to several arrests. Peterson also had two failed marriages, which resulted in two children. Her problems were exacerbated by the fact that she suffered from bipolar disorder, depression, and insomnia. She tried desperately to get sober and rebuild her life, but never managed to overcome her demons. She retired from showbiz for good at age 23. Peterson's Four Arrests Her life spiraled out of control as she faced multiple arrests and jail time. In 2012, she was busted for driving under the influence and having drug paraphernalia in her car. The Weld County Sheriff's Office in Greeley, Colorado, booked her into custody. Two years earlier, in 2010, she got into a physical altercation with another woman in Fort Collins, Colorado. A police report stated Peterson was drunk and slurring her words. She had been at a bar with her young daughter and her boyfriend, who said she was on medication for bipolar disorder and ADD and shouldn't have been drinking. She also had run-ins with the law in 2000, 2003, and 2005. Her mugshots revealed a shocking transformation from the fresh-faced actress she once was. In one photo, she has a bruised eye. She spent nearly three months behind bars in 2005 as she was arrested in September and released in December. Peterson's Tragic Death She was reported missing July 3, 2015, and was later found dead at her home at age 43. Her body was discovered by police on July 5th after her family ordered a wellness check when she failed to show up for a scheduled family dinner. 
Initially, the Greeley Police Department failed to comment on the specific details of the case, but they did mention Peterson's apartment door had been unlocked and there were no visible signs of foul play. Shortly after her death, Peterson's mother told Entertainment Tonight that her daughter had a history of drug abuse and was under the impression she was clean and sober when she died. Topsy was scheduled by the Weld County Coroner and the results were released in September. Despite her mother's belief she'd been drug-free, Peterson's cause of death was revealed to be an accidental overdose of morphine and other drugs. She had big plans. Around the time of her death, it was reported that in the weeks leading up to her passing, she had been talking about making a career comeback. She evidently was also in the process of writing a memoir that was meant to be a candid tell-all of everything she'd experienced as a former teen star. Photographer Ryan Hatsock, a friend of Peterson's, whose 2012 photos of her appeared in international news outlets following her death, was quoted in the Denver Post saying he had been encouraging her to set up a website and get a blog going. Another hometown friend, Tanya Bowie, stated that she really wanted to do a photo shoot, start blogging, and even start a fan page in hopes of recapturing some of her former glory. Bowie went on to add that Peterson had high hopes of giving back to the community by opening up an acting studio to help young kids grow self-esteem. Hollywood Reacts Peterson's death sent shockwaves throughout the Hollywood community and her fans. Many of her former colleagues and friends expressed their grief and condolences on social media. Patrick Dempsey tweeted, In my memory, she'll always be vibrant and young. Gone too soon. Sarah Michelle Geller wrote, When I was younger, I used to want to be Amanda Peterson. I once even asked my mom for a white leather fringe jacket. Scott Foley posted, R.I.P. Amanda Peterson, Can't Buy Me Love was a huge part of my youth. So sad. Lance Bass said, I remember cutting school in ninth grade to go see Can't Buy Me Love on opening day. So sad to hear the news of Amanda Peterson's passing. Peterson's legacy is that of a talented and beautiful actress who once had a bright future ahead of her, but whose life was cut short by a tragic accident. She'll always be remembered for her role as Cindy Mancini in Can't Buy Me Love, a film that touched the hearts of millions of people. She'll likewise always be missed by her fans and loved ones who could see beyond her troubles and see her inner sparkle. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know Amanda Peterson was arrested four times between 2000 and 2012 and that she became addicted to drugs after retiring from acting? Let us know in the comments section below. And thanks for watching.